designing a trapezoidal Ackerman steering mechanism for a 7 ton backhoe loader with seed. We need to design a hydrostatic steering system for the backhoe with the given track, wheelbase and tire dimensions using constraint driven engineering design synthesis methodology. We already have defined the basic geometry, uh, chassis, tires, steering assembly consisting of axle, stubs, steering arms and tie rod along with the hydraulic cylinders. Let's hide the dimensions and constraints to see the geometry better. Now we give the Ackerman condition in the center configuration. That is to have the imaginary lines passing through the left and right steering arms meet on the rear axle. For this we extend these two lines till their intersection. Then we create a coincident constraint between the end of one line and the middle of the rear axle. We created another configuration for the left turn. Let's extend the front wheel axis till they intersect. To satisfy the Ackerman condition, these axes should meet on the rear axle. So, we create a vertical dimension between the intersection point and the rear axle. Then use optimize command to reduce this to zero. We have synthesized the steering mechanism dimensions satisfying the Ackerman condition. The turning radius is the distance between this point and the center of gravity on the chassis. Now we calculate the hydraulic cylinder size to drive the steering. In the left turn configuration, the left cylinder is fully closed and the right cylinder is fully open. Since this is a symmetrical geometry and the cylinders are of the same size, the stroke is difference between these two cylinder lengths. In this case, it is approximately 124 mm. The force on shaft GS is given as 40,000 newtons. According to Taborex formula, the total steering torque ML is calculated, where B is the width of the front tire. Cylinder piston rods then produce a steering force F. Here, R is the minimum effective radius arm for steering cylinders. The steering force is around 23,500 newtons. We assume that the ratio of piston rod diameter to internal diameter of cylinder is 0.5. Steering cylinder pressure P is assumed to be 100 bar. Cylinder diameters and stroke volume V are calculated based on cross-connected cylinder configuration formulae. Stroke volume V is 291.75 cubic centimeters. Required number of steering wheel revolutions from lock to lock I is given as 2.5. Steering unit displacement VV is 116.7 cubic centimeters per revolution. The cylinder dimensions are thus calculated. The steering error is the difference between the actual angle made by the outer front wheel during steering maneuver and the theoretical angle. Here we are running a simulation and exporting the values to Excel to find the maximum steering error. This design has a maximum steering error of 3.53 which is below the limit of 5. Thank you.